What's going on guys and welcome to another video. Right here behind me I have the Hoodoo Impulse 120. And so I hope you guys watched the unboxing video. I just released a video on the Hoodoo Skiff as well, which that thing was super fun. So I want to go ahead and end this little series, the little Hoodoo series on the Impulse 120. So I'm going to flip this camera around and show you the ins and outs in this kayak, get on top of it, and I'm also going to throw the Bixby on it and show you how it works together. Here it is guys, the brand new Hoodoo Impulse 120. So we're going to go through this thing pretty quickly I'm gonna show you everything on it I've got it set up pretty minimal I try and keep my things these days pretty minimal all my kayaks not too too much gear maybe some of my kayak fishing buddies will uh, they will disagree and call me out on this video but for the most part we're keeping it pretty simple today so starting at the very front we got this oversized carry handle right here a little tie down bungee but the first thing I'm really starting to notice and what caught my eye about this kayak is this big storage up front and so you could use this as like a live well if you wanted to, maybe run run some uh, aerator through there that's got a drain plug, but pretty big. You can throw a lot of gear in there. It's not waterproof, so if you wanted to add a gasket, you would have to do that yourself. Moving on to the boat, it's got tracks everywhere. Of course, when I'm doing these review videos, I've been saying lately, this is coming pretty standard these days on kayaks. So we've got gear tracks, gear tracks. You can even put some tracks here, even though the, the seats, you know, right here, it's got some space for accessories and you can put some more screw downs and things like that, but plenty of tracks everywhere. You even got a track right here in front of the serial number of this boat. As you can see, we've got this deck mat right here, sound dampening, whatever you want to call it. And, uh, it's there. Keep it nice. Before I get to the drive, I'm going to show you guys these two hatches right here. Now I was looking at these and I want to say, yeah, there's some water inside right now. I think that's from the rain. I mean, I've been, I've left this thing outside for like a while. I'm super late on doing this review video, but it's just been raining and raining and raining and raining. And uh, you know how Florida is. And I've got some water in here. Now I noticed that there is no drain. This doesn't actually go through to the kayak. So I don't know what you would want to use this for. Maybe some bait, um, but it does not drain. So you're gonna have to use like a sponge or something to get all that water out. I'm not really sure, maybe, yeah, but I don't think it drains. So just know that there's, you know, water can, can get in here. It's not 100% waterproof. Then again, this is like three months of rain right here. I guess that's not bad for three months of rain. So there's that. You got two hatches right here if you wanna throw some, you know, lures in there when you're done, but it does not go through to the whole kayak. So just know that. We've got the adjustable seat right here. And one thing I wanna note when I was setting this kayak up, you can see that there's three different positions. You get your low, your middle, and your high, uh, or is that backwards? It's one of those. But either way, you want to make sure that all of these are unscrewed um, and you're loosened really when you're adjusting it because you're not gonna be able to adjust this seat to the different levels unless you unscrew these or, or loosen them and then they'll be adjustable. If you just try and move the seat, it's gonna be quite a pain to try and get this all worked out. So make sure you loosen these up, all right? Moving towards the back of the boat, underneath the seat, you have a storage little hole right here. You got a little baggie that comes with the boat, so that's nice. Of course, you got the cassette for the pedal drive. Moving to the back, we got a pretty big tank wheel here. You know, you can fit like a Plano box in here or something, but I've got my crate set up with my Angler Aid. This is, you know, a bunch of safety gear in here, my soft plastics, my top waters and subsurface, things like that. I did want to point out it has four integrated rod holders. One two, three, and four. And in the back, you also have a little hole right here in case you need to deal with any of your, you know, any of your rudder strings or, you know, rudder lines, whatever, your bungee and things like that for, for getting this whole system working. So it comes with this, comes with these bungees, comes with pretty much everything you see here, including the paddle. Now, I will say one of the first things I'm gonna upgrade on this kayak is the paddle, I've, or sorry, the paddle holder. I've never been a fan of just like the bungee. I am a fan of like screwing something into the track mounts, you know, like the little paddle holder. Uh, different companies make some, but I'm probably gonna install one of those because I don't really like how, on any kayak really, how the paddle just kind of hangs here over the side and then sometimes it dips in the water. You, kayak fishermen, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And then of course we've got, you know, little anchor points all over this kayak. One, two, three, four, they're pretty much everywhere. So that's pretty much the rundown of the boat, guys, as far as just looking at it. What we really wanna do is get in it and we want to pedal it around. But first, I wanna take a quick look at the drive. So, you know, look at it. You've seen drives like this before, first generation type drive. So uh, pretty standard. You just wanna make sure as I'm looking at it, you, of course, if you're fishing in a salt, you definitely want to uh, keep this guy clean. 
keep it clean, keep it lubricated. And uh, yeah, you don't want this rusting up. So that's that. Let's pop this thing in and let's go for a ride. Here we go, got the pedal drive installed and we are gonna give this thing a go for the first time. We've got the rudder steering on the left-hand side and I do wanna note that it is going to stay on this side. I do not believe, yeah, you're not gonna be able to switch this thing around. So it's on the left. Uh, whether you like it or not, it is standing right there. So we're pedaling this thing. On the right-hand side, you've got your, your little bungee here to pull the rudder up and down. We're going, here we go. Let's give this thing a little pedal. So we've confirmed that it can pedal. Okay, we were hoping it could, and it feels pretty good pedaling. Pretty nice on the water, you know, just kind of gliding against these mangroves here. Not putting in too much work. Definitely beats a little bit of paddling, so hands-free fishing coming right up. But I do want to stand up and see how we feel. Okay. So, of course, stable kayak. I think this is like 35 inches wide, so, you know, of course, this is going to be a pretty stable kayak. This kayak looks pretty good in the water. We pulled away from the mangrove just a little bit and we are gonna do our turn test. So right now we are going forward, we are straight and we're gonna go ahead and bump this to the left and we are gonna start pumping. And so I'm gonna do these little half pumps here. Guys, if you didn't know this, if you have a pedal drive kayak, whatever brand you have really, these little half pumps, they will move you just as fast as a full extension will. Just so you know, save yourself a little bit of energy and uh, sometimes I feel like it might even be a little bit faster. I, ooh, did you see that? Probably a bunch of mullet here. Um, so anyways, you know, it doesn't turn like so, 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 so fast. But hey, look, we're turning. We're getting after it. And we are almost there. Back to our starting position. Turn test complete. All right, we're going to go ahead and head back. I'm parked over there. We're just gonna get after it. Let's see. This thing feels good on the water. I mean, it is comfortable. Um, I don't really feel like I'm needing anything extra. It's got pretty much everything I need. You guys see that? If there's anything specific you wanna see about this kayak, let me know and I'll try to answer it in the comments below. But I'm gonna go grab the Bixby Jet, plug it in. I believe it will plug in. I actually haven't really tested it. We're gonna plug it in and we're gonna see how it does with that little jet in there. Got the Bixby, here's our little setup. It's gonna go right here where the drive normally goes and got the battery underneath the seat. Drive in the back just in case. And of course, forward, stop and reverse. All right, let's back this thing out, put the Bixby in and see how much fun this thing is with a little motor. All righty, let's do this. Oh man. Alrighty, here we go. It would help if I dropped the rudder. Okay, there we go. Now let's do this for real. <laughs> I was like, why is this thing not turning? Okay, here we go. Let's bump it up to full speed. Well, here we are guys. We are just chilling, making the Bixby do all the work. Is the Hoodoo Impulse 120. Now, I do wanna say that this kayak has a few different options. Of course, you can paddle the kayak, which this thing paddles pretty pretty decent for such a wide boat. I mean, uh, it's not as tiring as some of your bigger pedal drives that you might be more familiar with, um, but you can either you know paddle this thing, which you know is not ideal, you wanna pedal, it's a, it's a pedal kayak. You can use the fin system, so that's what we were using today. Or they have, did you guys see that? Did you see that fin come out of the water? Okay. All right, focus, focus on the video here. Okay, or you can use the, you know, the propel style, you know, more like the bicycle where you like pedal like that. So you got all the options really that, you, you know, however you want to move this thing, or you can put a Bixby in it. <laughs> or I know Bixby, you can even mount them to rudder systems and all kinds of things. There's other ways to mount this Bixby, but of course your main two options in moving this is gonna be your you know, fin style pedal drive and your bicycle style pedal drive. So as I'm letting the Bixby do all the work on this kayak review at the very end, um, I just wanna say I'm pretty happy about this kayak so far. I mean, it's a price point kayak. You, you know, you're not gonna get 
all and all, all the bells and whistles. You know, you're gonna some of the modifications uh, that you might want. You're gonna have to do yourself, like adding in some weather stripping or some gaskets or whatever the case is, um, and kind of making this boat your own. But for $17.99, you know, coming in at a price point that if you're in the market for a pedal drive and you you're ready ready to spend pedal drive money, then this is something that you can afford. Um, it's there at the entry level, and you can pretty much deck this thing out however you want. It's pretty much a blank slate. And so what I do like about this kayak is that it has everything that you need to get started. It's got tracks. You don't have to install any of those things. It's got storage. It's got rod holders. It's got pretty much everything you need to just get on the water like today. I didn't add anything to this kayak, but I'm able to get out here, add some poles. I don't have my action hat, but I am going to do some casting before I have to go in and get some work done for the day. Uh, I wanted to knock this video out early in the morning, but this kayak has everything pretty much basically that you need. Now, some things that I think can be improved on this kayak. I mean, it doesn't turn on a dime. Um, a lot of these wider kayaks, of course they don't. And so when we first started out kayak fishing, we had these other kayaks that we paddled and all this, and they turn much faster. Um, and there are even some pedal kayaks that of course turn better than this. You know, it turns fine. We can go left, right. We can plan our direction. But as far as like skirt, turn on time, it's not happening in this kayak. Another thing that I wish came on this kayak was like a molded in paddle like rest you know like how it has the in indentations on some kayaks where like you obviously know it's a spot for a paddle um this kind of just has the bungee and yeah it look it's holding can you see that it's holding the paddle on there just fine but just for some you know a little bit more security reasons i wish it had like that molded in little divot there so you know the the paddle had somewhere to go but like i said i'm gonna buy a you know a piece of equipment and throw it in the track and it's definitely not going anywhere once i do that so simple modification this kayak's coming in at about 100 pounds loaded with the pedal drive of your choice of course and so 35 inches wide 100 pounds is the light pedal drive what do you want me to say? I mean, this, it works. We're on the water. We're fishing. It feels good. I don't feel like I'm going to fall out. It's stable. It moves. It turns. It pedals. It does all these things. Basically, you should be asking yourself, okay, what's the point? What's so special about this kayak? It's just another, is it just another pedal drive? What's the big deal? I think what's special about this kayak is the price point. You can get a lot of bang for your buck on this kayak. You can get on the water. If your heart's set on a pedal drive or you really want to get into the pedal drive, you know, arena of kayak fishing, this is the boat for you. It's affordable, has everything you need. You don't really gotta add anything to it. You can get on the water fishing and do your thing and have fun. So guys, I hope you like this, you know, unboxing series uh, of the Hoodoo series. You know, we did the skiff, we're doing the, Him the Hoodoo Impulse 120. And uh, yeah, we'll actually get some fishing videos on this thing. But as a general walkthrough, walk around, showing you the kayak, I hope you got what you needed. I hope you were able to see exactly what you needed from this kayak and uh, see what this kayak had to offer. But pretty much happy with it. I don't have any, uh, I don't really have any bad things to say about this kayak. It's a good kayak. Anyways, I'll see you guys on the next video.